Well, good evening and welcome to Releasing the Heart of the Father. It is so good to be with you tonight, May the 7th. We're going to be talking about several things, and one of the things that we want to do tonight is to certainly take some prayer requests and pray for those needs that you have. Let me bring you up to speed on a few things. Just uh, about two weeks ago, you know, we hosted the uh, Josiah Company uh, Convocation, and in doing so, it was an incredible turnout. On the Saturday night, we began at 5 o'clock. We prayed for all 50 states. That recording is out on uh, on my website. You can listen to it. It did take over four hours to cover all 50 states, but we had somewhere close to 200 people in the room, and we had over 700 people that came on the conference call. And at the end of that over four hours, close to four and a half, people were still there in the room and we still had over 700 people. So it was a marvelous time. You know, I just uh, thank you for being a part of our life, for standing with us. We're going to be doing some more uh, uh, different things that uh, coming up about the Josiah Company and uh, Convocation. We're going to hold more and we're going to move them around the nation. We're praying over two locations right now. One location uh, is that uh, in Pennsylvania that we're praying over, and one location is there in uh, uh, Texas, trying to get something clicked here so that we can be ready for uh, those prayer requests as they come in. But anyway, uh, tonight I want to talk just a little bit about positive decorations and I want to tell you that on my website, you can go to the store there. We got some positive de uh, decoration. You can download it as a PDF. It's only $5. Or you can download an audio of me reading these. I want to give you my testimony about these uh, positive biblical decorations. Um, back in 1983, uh, Susan and I had been born again for a while, not very long, and we attended a Bible conference that James Robinson hosted in the Dallas uh, Convention Center. And while we were there, there was a man named Milton Green. Milton was a carpet cleaner. He became a friend to James. He actually uh, ministered to James Robinson and his wife. And so uh, Milton was giving his testimony and I felt the, the urging of the Lord to go down, and uh, he did not give an altar call. He was at making a confession. But I went down and just knelt, did some business with God, actually relieved, received some deliverance uh, at that time. And um, But Milton could take and stand for about 17 minutes and quote, what the Bible said. It captured me. We went home. We had a, I'm sure in those days it was a cassette tape. And we typed out the 17 minutes of him quoting what the word of God said about him. And I carried that folded up in a paper in my back pocket for, uh, till I wore it out. I, it was close to 10 years. And I would, every day at least once, I would read those words. Finally got to where I could quote it. You know, he picked me up out of the miry pit. He put, a, he put my feet on a firm foundation. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise unto my God. And I would go through this. And what I noticed after about four years, I quit just reading words. And those words were becoming one. They were becoming truth that made me free. And so it was a very pivotal thing. And so it's probably about eight years ago now, maybe maybe as much as 10. Uh, you know, as you become older in life, and by the way, this Thursday, I just celebrated 70 years of life. And we this year, we celebrated 50 years of marriage and 40 years of full-time ministry. But I begin to reflect, how did Susan and I get here? We, sadly to say, we have a lot of friends that, haven't made it. They didn't make the journey. They became shipwrecked and they quit on God. And it was so, it's troubling to our hearts. So we, we were asking questions. 
And one of the things that God brought up was that confession that I did years ago. So we found it again, and uh, I have uh, changed it a little bit, brought it in out of the old King James into some more modern uh, translation, and uh, we recorded it, and we typed it out, and you can get it there uh, on our website. But one of the things I want to key in on is a scripture that says, and Eli restrained his sons not. Well, uh, we know what Eli's son did. They, they, they stole the Ark of the Covenant. They laid at the temple door with harlots. There was so much in their life. But the restraint that God has taught me about is a different restraint from telling our children what they can't do. It's the restraint of declaring who they are. You know, every child, I love it when we do baby dedications to the Lord and prophetic words come over those children. I'm talking about seven, eight, nine month, you know, sometimes a year or more uh, children. And yet God gives a prophetic word. Well, that word becomes a restraint in their life, not a restraint that, that keeps them uh, from fulfilling their destiny, but a, a restraint that begins to push them that way. And so it, it is so important to understand what uh, is taking place in as you declare and as you make positive uh, declarations. When I got a hold of this truth many years ago, our children were, were young, and I would go at night to where our house was built. The children's bedrooms were upstairs. There was a landing there, all three rooms, and I could stand out when they were asleep, uh, stand outside of their door, as they slept, and very lowly, I would begin to make decorations and decrees of who God was calling them to be. I want to tell you, it works. It worked then. It will work for you. It's so important that we we uh, we do that. I don't know. I'm not getting uh, uh, some traffic here on people coming in on the channel. I, I'm hoping I don't have a problem. Uh, let me say something to Susan, who always joins me with it. We can hold the map and ask him, can he check it, please? But anyway, we're just real here. We're not trying to be fancy and uh, impressed, but we really won't. I see there's people on, but I, I'm not seeing uh, for some reason. Hold on just a minute. Uh, I'm not seeing anybody on here. All right, I just did something that I wasn't supposed to do. Uh, well, I have lost my deal. Hold on a minute. We're going to get back there. Uh, I know somehow. Okay. All right, I'm back to you. I hit a wrong button. Been known to do that before. All right, now I'm seeing a few people getting on. Someone from Kingsport. I see you there. And uh, from up in Pennsylvania, thank you for joining with us tonight. All right, but positive confession. When you declare, I love declaring. You know, he picked me up out of the miry pit. He put a new song in my mouth. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. These are all so significant. Uh, a confession, and uh, I just encourage you go there to the website, and uh, the the you can download that PDF file right into your phone, and you'll have it and start making uh, decorations over you. All right, see my I see my friend Mike Mason, longtime friend, always good to have you on here, Mike Dearborn, Michigan. You're with us. Uh, Lee Summit, Missouri, know where that is. I see you on there. Good to have uh, y'all with us tonight. Uh, thank you for joining on uh, with us. Uh, others coming on all the time. So uh, write me some uh, prayer requests, something that we can pray about. I love when you do it because sometimes, not all the time, God gives me words of knowledge, words of wisdom, words of wisdom that I can release uh, at this time. All right, see California on there now. Always good to have the people. I, I tell you, there is a great on our 
weekly call when we do it, uh, we're averaging somewhere around at least, uh, somewhere around 50 uh, people on every call. And uh, that's significant out there. I, we're believing, we're praying. Uh, if the person that's on here from California is not aware, go to our website and listen to the prophetic um, uh, prayer call that we did over California when we prayed over all 50 states because there's some real uh, significant, powerful words that there. All right, I see a prayer request. We have a Sherry on here, and she needs some healing in the stomach and left knee. Father, we thank you for Sherry. And we speak into her stomach and digestive system. And we speak into that, that left knee. And we command healing and health to be released into the, the stomach and into this knee. We just pray a protective hedge of the blood of Christ and the word of God around Sherry. And we command healing and health. We rebuke every sickness, every disease, every infirmity, and every assignment of hell that has been set against Sherry. We declare that that protective hedge of the blood of Christ, the word of God around her, and we declare that your word, your anointing, and your authority will bring forth a total healing to Sherry, and there will be a testimony come out of this in Yeshua's name. I see, uh, I believe it's L27, uh, prayers for financial breakthrough. Father, I love praying for finances. I, Father, I just declare over uh, the finances of this person and maybe a family. Father, we just declare the windows of heaven are open. We declare that you're pouring out blessings they cannot hold. We declare the devourer is being rebuked for their sake. We declare that all nations, all ethnic, uh, eth uh, eth ethnos will rise up and call them blessed. And we declare that you will put meat in their storehouse. Father, give creative idea of how to deal with this and how to turn around, but we command that devourer that is trying to come against this person and family to be rebuked, to be cast down, and we just declare that, that uh, the windows of heaven are open and those blessings are being poured out they can't even contain. All right, praying for a son. Uh, Donna, we're praying for a son. Uh, I, you know, I remember getting uh, a, a request. I remembered. I remember praying. In fact, I remember uh, sometime after that, I thought about it. I prayed again. But we just to uh, continue uh, to lift up Donna's son. Uh, we thank you, Father, for working uh, in his heart, working in his body, working in his mind. We bind up the assignment of hell. Uh, we stand on the word. It says no weapon formed against him will prosper. We declare that he is called from his mother's womb to be more than a conqueror in all things. Touch this son now in Yeshua's name. Um, praying for uh, Deborah. We see your uh, request and we're praying for Ronald, uh, his salvation. Uh, and we also pray uh, that that mental limitation is being lifted, is being bound up, is being cast down. I thank you, Father, that you're going to touch Ronald deeply and touch him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, and we thank you for that. Father, we just uh, thank you. There is a release over everyone on this call for financial release. Father, we're in a, in a extremely difficult time with inflation and decisions being made uh, in this current administration that are adverse to wisdom and adverse to kingdom principle. But we declare the release. And Father, we see Sherry's request about four prodigal daughters. Father, we call those daughters in. We declare the conviction of Holy Spirit touching all four daughters. We declare the ungodly influence that would cause them to turn their heart away from God and their back on God. It, it's being broken off. And we declare the conviction of Holy Spirit and the wooing of the love of God is drawing them to him. We declare that now. Father, we just declare for Claudine, 
uh, a, a clarity on the next step in God and the call in our life. Father, let the proper relational alignment come there for her that will make sure that the decision being made will keep her on the road to fulfill purpose and to, and to fulfill destiny. We just declare that in Yeshua's name. There's our friend, uh, Patricia Harper. Patricia, we uh, bless you. Good to see you on on there. And uh, just want to tell you, it's, it's getting time for you to come over and visit and see this Ark land uh, that we're developing over here. You've been such a uh, a faithful, faithful partner of prayer and partner of finances. And we speak blessings over you. We declare that God's making a way where there is no way. And we declare you've got purpose and destiny. And that purpose and destiny is going to put you in a place to where your gifting will bring you far, uh, to a place of favor and to a place of fulfillment. We declare that in Yeshua's name. All right, we got one here from Karen, got a nephew named Hayden. And uh, we just declare, been, uh, I'm remembering that name, Karen. We just declare over him. We declare blessings. We declare your will being done. We declare strong conviction. We declare a protective hedge of the blood of Christ and the word of God around him. And Father, we just release it now in Yeshua's name. Amen. But remember, over these prodigal daughters, over these prodigal sons, prodigal uh, nephews, whoever it is, make declarations. You will serve the Lord. Uh, you are, you are, you know, you are falling in love with the with the grace of God. You will embrace that grace, and that grace will empower you to step up out of the place you've been living and step into your purpose. Uh, the, you know, I, I, one of our children, I begin to declare they would have a hunger and they would have a, uh, a desire to play an instrument. And it wasn't any time at all. I mean, just within a month, uh, uh, this, this child of ours went to her mom and said, put some strings on that old guitar. I want to learn how to play. And we watched God do that in a, in a mighty, mighty way. And so, making these declarations, you know, reading and declaring Psalms um, uh, 91 over uh, our loved ones, over our children, over our prodigals, uh, it is so significant and it has such power. We just bless you, Chris, there in Oklahoma. In fact, I'm uh, next Sunday morning, uh, I'm in, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Sky 2. Uh, Oklahoma. I'm there with uh, Brother Gerald Freeman. I'm forgetting the name of the church right now, but I'm there Sunday morning and Sunday night. We're uh, going to be driving in there on Saturday. Uh, this coming uh, Friday night, the 19th, our grandson, who is 18, graduates from high school. He was just here with me for my birthday and did a bunch of welding with me this week. Very proud of Logan. Uh, he is uh, a real blessing in our life, really growing up fast and just see a lot of his dad in him and a little bit of me and a whole bunch of my dad, Bob Nash, uh, in him. Just looking for any more, any other prayer requests. If you're on here listening to us, you need to join with us um, uh, so we can, uh, can pray for your uh, request. You know, God's word said we can bring our petitions boldly before the throne of grace, but we also can be seated in the heavenlies through Christ Jesus, and we can make decrees and decoration from that place back into the earth. All right, I'm looking here. Financial uh, uh, bless on my friend Mike. We just declare that. Uh, we just declare all uh, finances coming in so that you can uh, can accomplish everything you're supposed to. Uh, uh, all right. Some uh, saying going to be making a uh, declaration over prodigals. Um, thank you, Peggy, for your uh, encouragement. Uh, what we do is an honor and uh, with it. And we just stand. I want to tell you, my sister has finished her, uh, her, um, radiation and chemo. Uh, she's gained about five pounds. She's getting stronger. 
They're going to do some tests. I think it's this week uh, to try to see. They know the tumor was shrinking, but they're going to go back in and run some tests, and she's going to get a great report is what we're believing uh, for her. Her name is Nan. Uh, we put out on the prayer call to say, uh, for her birthday, April the 17th, send her card, scriptures, encouragement, happy birthday. And she received somewhere around 1,400 <coughs> cards from people just like you. Thank you for encouraging. Because she said a couple of times she was just ready to throw the towel in, stop the chemo, stop the radiation, and a card would come and have the right scripture, and it would pick her up and give her uh, that strength to uh, take a few more steps. Got a Lisa here, uh, has a graduating son. Uh, we just declare over him, he's going to find his life purpose. He's going to find that which will carry him on to destiny. There's a grace designed uh, for Thomas, and we declare that grace as he steps in and embraces it, will cause him to fulfill the very desires of his heart that God has placed in his heart. Uh, thank you, uh, sometime, Tara, uh, for standing with for my sister. Uh, thank you. Uh, I see where you say that uh, uh, you pray for the Nash family almost every day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We, we appreciate prayer. Prayer is so, so vital. That's my uh, dog alarm going off. So uh, uh, Harley, Harley's on guard. Somebody's coming up to the house. And so uh, that set him off. Let me find a few more we're going to pray for. Uh, so Mary, uh, glad to give you the update. I'm actually, my sister's writing an email. And we're going to be emailing everyone who sent a card. Uh, I, well, we're actually going to be sending on our whole mail list. Not everyone has sent a card. Uh, and she's got to thank you for everyone. Uh, so important. Anyone else? Uh, what? Uh, I need agreement. Chris needs agreement for a job. All right. Father, you open the windows of heaven and you pour out blessing that they cannot hold. And you've got a job for Chris. Open that door and cause that door to be a door of favor and to bring him through into a place, Father, that you have a job. We thank you. The door you open, no one will close. And we bless Chris with this job. All right. Trying to get our home sold and closed so we can move to Arkansas. Wow. Daryl, we, we're in agreement for that house selling quickly, selling for more than the full price. We declare and your your move, your transition to Arkansas is going to be good. I don't know where you're moving, but my email address is claynash at claynash.org. Um, we, uh, I, there's, I'm trying to remember someone had written me and I lost their number. We were supposed to talk. If Daryl, if that's you, get in touch with me again. But uh, let us know where you're moving to. Maybe we can connect or connect you with the right kingdom people in this move. I, that's important. Father, give them a quick and a smooth transition. All right. Um, I'm trying to read this by Rich. Uh, healing for someone there in San Antonio. If I'm reading it right, Father, we speak healing for everything that's coming against this person. We bind it up. We cast it down in Yeshua's name. Uh, Tara, we're praying uh for randy to have a holy ghost encounter and to be baptized in the spirit and god to open his eyes totally to the kingdom uh we just pray for healing and restoration to families uh we thank you daryl i apologize i see you're saying that was you i lost your number and uh and i apologize that's not the way that i normally do things but Life has been very, very fast. I tell everyone that one day I feel like I'm a termite in a yo-yo, and the next day I feel like I'm a one-armed paper hanger on a pogo stick. Get a picture of that in your mind. But anyway, Daryl, get in touch with me. You know how to do that. I want to. I want to talk with you. I hope your. I hope God's uh, transition puts you up close to us. I'm looking forward to working with you, my friend. Uh, remember to pray for us this coming Friday night. 
And Saturday morning, we've got Tony McKinnon. Tony is a Rama supervisor of churches, a great man of God. He's coming in here. We're holding our first uh, meeting at the Eagle's Nest. Uh, the Eagle's Nest is a place of kingdom-inspired leadership training, and uh, we're not quite uh, through the building, but we've got it good enough. We've got the uh, the monitors, TV monitors installed, sound system installed, heat and air installed last week. My great friend, uh, Tony Ford from over in Flipping Mountain Home area came over and installed the heat and air. It's working great. We're just finishing up stuff. Got an awning drive under where you, when it's raining, we're trying to finish that this week before the meeting uh, on the on uh, Friday the 12th at 7 here out on the land, Omaha, if you're looking for it, it's at 753 uh, Penn Oak Lane, Omaha. And uh, come join us with us. It's going to be a great time. It's our first one. We, we're scheduling a second one for July. And, uh, and then we're, we'll have another in September and, uh, we're, we're working hard to get this, these meetings going. Let me get my eyes back down here and see, uh, pray for healing and restoration in the family. I said that. All right. Uh, I, I see where Daryl, uh, corresponded with me, uh, with that. Let me just end tonight's call with this. We are so honored to be with you. And we've been looking for that perfect time. We've moved it to nine central time on the first and third Sunday night. Uh, with all the travel that I've got scheduled, I, you know, I'm probably going to have to get some other guests to come in on the and do it for me. Maybe some of them will not be live. Uh, I'll do some teaching. Uh, we've got coming up, we've got two weeks in Ireland and in England where we're ministering. And then in... Uh, uh, August will be in Alaska for two weeks, a little bit of that vacation, uh, some ministry, some vacation. And then in September, we're gone for about three weeks, all vacation. We're going up to Yellowstone with our RV. Pray for us on this. This is a big year for Susan and I and our family. It's a, it's a you know, as I said, 50 years of marriage, uh, 40 years of full-time ministry, 70 years of life. And I love to tell this one, Susan and I have got 62 years behind us of friendship. And so you can be a part as you hold us up in prayer. I want to go back here and uh, look through these, make sure I'm not missing. Uh, restarting a business. Uh, we are in agreement with you, uh, Betty. Uh, we come in agreement. We come in agreement that God's going to give you creative ideas and uh, things that will produce money for your household, but even greater than that money for the kingdom. Uh, but Father, we just, uh, Mike, I uh, see yours, your niece, Brooke. Uh, she's uh, in her second trimester, and we just declare uh, that child is going to fully develop, is going to be healthy, and it's, she's going to go full term. Um, uh, she, Father, we just declare everything uh, is going to go well. We put a, uh, we declare a protective hedge of the blood of Christ and the word of God around her. And we do so in Yeshua's name. Amen. Well, listen, everyone on the call, thank you for joining with us on these first and third Sunday nights. Remember, we're back on the call tomorrow at 222 Eastern time. And we're going to be talking this week about the revelations, the wisdom uh, that came out of the Josiah Company convocation a couple of weeks ago in Conway, Arkansas. Uh, in 40 years of ministry, it was one of the most powerful uh, times of gathering God's people that we have experienced. And uh, the host, we're going to be talking about it on the call this week and making prayers and decoration. Some of you watching me right now, you're part of the Josiah Company. You're part of the Josiah Company, and we need you to step in and engage and pray that we get clear strategy about where we're to host the next Josiah Company convocation. Well, God bless you. Thank you for being with us. Uh, be encouraged. Remember, there the angels, 
are releasing uh, fresh hope and greater expectation. So set yourself to receive that in a mighty way. God bless you. And we'll be with you in a couple of weeks on a Sunday night.